<laughs> Let me get, get in a comfortable spot first. We invite you to find a comfortable posture, a place where you can be alert but relaxed. Start by taking a deep inhalation. And on the exhalation, let go of any thoughts about what has happened today, this week, this month. Just let everything drop. Take another inhalation. Big, slow, and deep. And with the next exhalation, allow all of the bodily tension that you've been storing to just let go. We don't need to hold anything right now. We are here to be present and aware and fully open to the experience of this moment. And if we hold any tension in the body, any resistance to what is here, we're putting ourselves in subtle opposition to this moment. And we're only creating suffering for ourselves and for those around us. Take one more deep inhalation. And on the next exhalation, let go of any thoughts about what you expect to get out of this day, this group, this sitting, in this moment. All expectations can be released. I invite you to take a moment to feel your feet on the floor, on the cushion, wherever points of contact are most easy to be felt, just feel that grounding sensation. Feel what seems to be density or heaviness. Now come up to where your bottom is sitting on the floor, on the chair, on a cushion, on a couch, on a bed, and feel that sense of pressure. Feel not just the thin line of sensation, but feel that accumulated weight of a body pushing down, feeling like you can let go and be fully supported by the ground and the seat beneath you. If your back is leaning up against anything, just notice the pressure along your back, pressure that seems to be supporting you and holding you upright. Feel that, feel what it's like to be held Feel the grounding, feel the earth, feel the seat behind you. Just be here, fully present with those sensations as they arise and as they change. With each exhalation, feel that sense of heaviness increasing. Mm -hmm. 
It's okay to relax and to just let things be. We tend to be in a constant state of struggle and it strains the mind and it strains the body. So take this opportunity to put the struggle down. What are you fighting against? What is here is all that is here. If you find it difficult to let go, if you find the mind chiming in, or if you find that there's tension in the body or emotions churning away in some physical form, it's perfectly okay. Can you find the equanimity even with a churning mind? and sensations that may not be altogether pleasant in the body. Simply feel those sensations just like you're feeling your feet on the floor and your bum on the seat. The sensations of emotions are no different in substance than the sensations of weight and density, the sensations of being supported and grounded. Just feel that you can't tell where the sensation of the seat ends and the emotional sensations in the torso begin. Isn't it just one cloud of sensation? If thoughts still keep accumulating and distracting your attention, it's perfectly fine. Just keep coming back to the sensation every time you notice that your attention has drifted. We don't need to struggle against thoughts either. Everything that is here right now is okay. Still continue feeling the sensation of the feet against the floor, of the bottom against the seat, the back if it's against some sort of cushion or seat back, and any feelings of emotional sensations that are arising and moving around in the space that we take to be our body. And if you notice that there is still a sense of resistance to some of those sensations, if there is still a sense of unpleasantness, preference for it to be different than it is, a longing for those sensations to either go away or change, it's okay. But I invite you to feel the boundaries of those sensations. 
At first, when we're overwhelmed by emotion, it can feel like the sensation is the totality of experience. But I assure you, it is not. We simply need to expand our attention out beyond the confines of that sensation. It is simply a small portion of the possible sensations available for you at any given moment, which for some reason is gaining the lion's share of attention. So I invite you right now to see if you can sense the outer boundaries of those emotional sensations that feel disturbing or unsettling. Feel from the center outwards, outwards, outwards. Feel as the sensation grows thinner and thinner, the further out it goes. You may or may not find a distinct boundary around the sensation. But start to become aware of the space, that thin vastness all around the sensation itself. Even if your eyes are closed, it might help to take in the periphery, the periphery of your vision as you feel the periphery of the sensational world. Relax. And allow that attention to become open and diffuse as you welcome all that is here and notice that there is so much space around and encompassing those ever smaller and smaller sensations that at one point felt like the totality of your experience. Keep zooming out wider and wider. If it feels like you've hit a boundary, a boundary of sensation, just notice what is outside of that boundary. Does it feel like you're being limited by sensations of skin or the pressure of your back on the chair, your arm resting on an armrest? Just notice if that is really a boundary that can't be transcended. Or if in fact, you can feel what lies on the other side of it. As everything expands, we notice what we take to be those things that we need to struggle against. They become smaller and less and less significant, less serious, less dense. They become less real to us because there is a greater capacity there with greater perspective and greater wisdom. 
and it is here for us at any moment when we shift our attention from the small, centralized, polarized being that we take ourselves to be and feel out past its limited boundaries. You can either stay here in this spacious open feeling, or if it feels too unbounded for you, bring the attention back to the sensations of the feet on the floor and the bum in the seat. Slowly zoom back in without fully giving up that sense of spaciousness and perspective. We can be centered in a body without being self-centered. We can be here without being bound into one very small identity. So I invite you to play with that dichotomy. When you're ready, very slowly, open your eyes and join the space. <laughs>